In our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about some new machines that have changed how soybean seed cleaning is done around the country. They're called color and shape sorters. You know what, we're kind of on the front edge of this technology. We've had color sorters for a large number of years and they've been used in a variety of different crops and especially in high value crops. But now soybeans are starting to get a lot of attention as well because soybean seed is really valuable. When you look at all the trait packages now that are in soybeans and how much it costs farmers to seed soybeans per acre, certainly farmers want to have the highest quality seed they possibly can. So when you look at color and shape sorters, there's a couple different things that we're trying to do here. Historically, as soybeans get harvested, they go into a seed conditioning plant, and basically that means they're gonna sort out any pods, any little pieces of stem, any dirt, anything like that, so you're left with just soybean seed. However, even when you get down to just soybean seed, there's some of the seeds out there that weren't quite mature, and maybe they're oblong. And, and they aren't going to grow next year because they didn't fully mature. You've got, you know, I don't know, 90% germination because 10% of the seed might not be the best. But with the color sorters, what actually happens with the seed is they move through individually so an electronic eye can take a picture of each seed. And then if it sees a seed that's not right, maybe one's still green and it's not yellow and mature, a little puff of air can kick that green seed out and now the finished product looks really pretty good and pretty consistent. So the reason why this is so important is because the cleaners that we used to have in the old days, we could do some of this type of thing. We could sort mainly for shape. We couldn't do anything for color but we could sort a little bit for shape. So if it was oblong, we could maybe get it. If it had kind of a little bit of a flat side, we could maybe get it. If it was too big or too small, we could definitely get those, but we just couldn't be as fine. And that's the big difference now because anymore, as expensive as seed is, we wanna make sure that we've got the best chance for every one of them to grow. So it's not only about appearance, it's also a lot about, hey, is this seed actually going to grow? And we know if it's shriveled up, if it's off color, things like that, it probably has less chance to grow. All right, now you may say, this is a big deal if it was my food. If I'm looking at some peas that I'm gonna eat or some rice that I'm gonna eat, yeah, I don't wanna have a black one in there that I'm worried about, oh, is that moldy or rotten or, or something I don't wanna eat? You wanna have that to be just perfect, right? Well, it's the same thing for farmers. As we're spending big money buying seed to plant our acres, we wanna have stuff that's going to grow and we want every seed to grow. Now, when we think about the shape sorters, Brian said the old school condition could somewhat sort for shape. I mean, if it wouldn't roll through, was mainly the way they would get it. Oh, hey, that one doesn't roll, so we'll kick that out. Now we look at the shape sorters, and it's really fine-tuning things. So if we've got a seed that's a little bit oblong, or if we have a different kind of seed, maybe it's a volunteer corn plant that grew out in a soybean field, but on volunteer corn, a lot of times those kernels are more round than they are uh, flat, like a, a regular ear of corn would be. Well, we can sort some of those things out because the shape is different than a soybean seed. And so now we can just get such a high quality seed out of a seed conditioning plant if they have these new machines. Now, that said, these new machines are not cheap, and so there aren't very many of them out in the industry yet. It's just getting started. But as farmers see really high quality seed, that's what they're going to expect. That's what they're going to want. And we look for more of these types of machines to be coming industry-wide over the next 10 years. Well, the good thing with these color and shape sorters is they can usually get out every single weed that would be in that batch, but unfortunately, nothing's going to control every single weed in your field unless you've got the right program. We'll talk about the correct program for our Weed of the Week coming up later in the show.